Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, so my name is Fang Yuan uh, from the Office of Product Quality Assessment One in OPQ. Um, so um, let's switch gear from the uh, common deficiencies in, in DMF to the uh, common major deficiencies in uh, ANDAs. So everyone deserves confidence in their lung dose of medicine. And our OPQ's mission is to assure um, pharmaceutical, quali uh, pharmaceutical quality that assures, to the, uh, assures the quality medicine uh, to be available and safe and effective. So in this presentation, I'm going to discuss the quality major deficiencies that um, identified in the first cycle major complete response letters um, uh, issued in fiscal year 2023. And um, based on those findings, we'll provide the recommendations to our end applicants to minimize the quality major deficiencies and improve end sub submission uh, quality and Eventually, we can improve the first cycle, second cycle approval rates for NDAs. So, um, so this is a, a retrospective analysis of the uh, major complete response letters issued in uh, fiscal year 2023 that we conducted last year in CEDAR. And in this study, we collected um, a total of 284 um, first cycle major complete response letters. <laughs> And in those letters, we identified 429 major deficiencies. And based on the issuing assessment disciplines, that 29% of them were issued from the long quality discipline. And the rest, over 70%, were all quality related. And based on the frequency, um, the top three quality assessment disciplines we identified um, as manufacturing, um, specifically um, facility quality. Uh, majority of them are facility quality related. And the next is drug product and followed by drug substance. And then we have less than, um, some, uh, less than 2% is from the biopharmaceutics and microbiology. So for the major deficiencies issued by the top three quality disciplines, manufacturing, drug product, drug substance, we did additional categorization. And based on the, in accordance with the, um, the guidance for uh, amendments to NDAs under GDUFA, um, actually last year um, in September, we just issued the revised version for that. So, <clears throat> so my colleague from the Office of Manufacturing uh, the pharmaceutical manufacturing assessment, um, Andrew, um, Andrew will discuss the detailed findings in manufacturing related uh, major deficiencies. And in the rest of my presentation, I'll be focusing on the drug product and drug substance related major deficiencies. So of the drug product major deficiencies, uh, Anyway, so the, um, we found that 20% of them were extractable eligible related um, and 20% were related to qualification um, of impurities. And the 19% were related to drug substance sameness evaluation for uh, complex active ingredient containing drug products. And 14% were related to uh, critical quality attributes um, either not identified or not controlled. And for those four groups um, of major deficiencies, we did additional breakdown. I'll talk about that um, shortly. And then 7% uh, of those major deficiencies were related, were due to uh, deficiencies identified through consult um, for, for uh, safety assessment or drug device uh, uh, or device design uh, assessment or immunogenic risk assessment. And the rest 20% uh, were um, were those major deficiencies that each, each category has um, less than 5%. So we group them together under the miscellaneous um, bucket. 
So some examples of those um, major deficiencies include um, the unacceptable analytical method for quality control, so that as a result, um, applicant has re um, requested to develop new analytical method um, or unacceptable packaging system that um, due to inadequate dosing accuracy or potential safety risk. So um, new batches in, is needed to using new packaging system to assure adequate product performance and quality. Um, or um, if the acceler um, in some cases, accelerated and intermediate stability studies both failed. So that will require, um, and the uh, available long-term stability data submitted is not sufficient to establish the expiration dating. And or um, new drug substance, new drug substance source is needed. Um, or the um, physical, uh, physical properties of the drug product um, is not acceptable. For example, um, for our tablets capsule, if the size uh, or dimension is too large, that may um, raise safety concern. And or in um, insufficient data to support a drug device compatibility for the proposed product. So extractable leachables um, related major deficiencies. Um, we found that 75% of them were related to, were due to um, inadequate um, extractable leachable assessment. Um, so in those cases, even if safety data is submitted, but the drug product assessor cannot facilitate the safety counsel to our farm tox colleagues um, until those um, uh, inadequacies identified in the extractable eligible assessment being addressed. And then we have 12% of them were due to lacking uh, safety or toxicology data to qualify the identified eligibles above the analytical evaluation threshold. And the rest 13% have both type of issues. Um, unqualified impurities related drug product major deficiencies we found 52% of them were due to um, missing QSAR data to assess the potential mutagenic risk of a degradation product in um, drug product. And 43% of them were due to missing safety data to qualify impurity, uh, qualify the proposed acceptance criteria um, above the ICHQT. Um, and 4% of them were um, due to missing data to assess the immunogenic risk of peptide-related impurities. Drug substance sameness of related major deficiencies. So for those letters we sampled, um, the drug substance sameness issue uh, were all occurred to the applications for um, peptide-containing uh, drug products. And we also noted that in those letters, um, the application also has deficiencies related to insufficient comparative data of peptide-related impurities profile uh, between the proposed generics and the um, reference product, either for the purpose of um, assessing the potential um, immunogenic risk or for the purpose of establishing quality control strategy for those impurities. Um, so we do um, have one CMC guidance for peptide um, containing drug products, um, though that is only limit, has a limited scope to the um, peptide, synthetic, pe synthetic peptide, and thus um, referencing the um, product of the recombinant uh, DNA origin. So for the peptide um, contain, uh, for other peptide products that outside, out, outside the scope of this guidance, applicant may refer to the um, uh, product specific guidance, usually there is recommendation for drug substance sameness evaluation and also um, use the proper uh, communication channel um, 
like the control correspondence or product development meeting requests to seek the agency's guidance on the expectation for a drug substance seamless evaluation also the and as well as the comparative impurities testing um, and also i want to note that uh, the drug substance sameness um, common deficiencies may also occur to other types of com uh, complex active ingredient contain, um, containing drug products, for example, the um, polymeric drug substance. So critical quality attributes related uh, major deficiencies. We found that 56% of them were related to um, inadequate, um, insufficient data to address the NDSRI or other natural swimming impurities risk in drug product. And 90% of them is um, due to the in, um, insufficient data or missing data to demonstrate the physical chemical uh, property is seamless for the complex formulation drug product, um, usually containing nanomaterials. Um, and 13% of them were due to um, inadequate natural uh, nasogastric tube administration studies following uh, to support the label instruction. We, we do have a um, presentation this morning discussing those cases. And the rest, 13%, um, uh, were related to the solution um, or uh, control strategy for elemental impurities. So of the drug substance related major deficiencies, we found that 82% of them were due to um, in, um, major deficiency identified in the associated uh, DMF application, uh, DMFs. And 8% of them were due to unqualified impurities. Um, and the rest 10% include um, inadequate analytical method or insufficient characterization of drug substance or inadequate selection of starting materials um, or due to um, deficiency identified in the um, safety council um, assessment. So the associated um, DMF major deficiency letters were also collected and analyzed. And then in, um, we found that the 67.5% uh, of them were due to unqualified impurities. And 15% were due to insufficient drug substance characterization. And 7.5% were due to inadequate starting material selection. And Others include major drug substance process change or requirement of a new um, analytical method or a requirement of, um, of a new drug substance batch. Uh, so that is also connected to the um, David's presentation earlier. So challenging question number one, um, which of the following errors are commonly found with major deficiencies for drug product assessment discipline for ANDAs? A, qualification of impurity, B, evaluation of legibles, C, selection of starting materials, D, all of above. Um, correct answer is A and B. Uh, so we do have 20% from each, um, each in the category of in unqualified impurities and 20% related to an extractable legible assessment. Um, but the selection of the uh, starting material is one of the um, common major deficiencies in drug substance. So challenging question two. The com most common drug substance related major deficiency is attributed to um, unqualified impurities present in drug substance. Is that true or false? Uh, correct answer is true. So um, we have 8% um, is due to unqualified impurities and 82% were due to inadequate um, major deficiency in the associated DMF. However, in the DMF, we also found um, the, mo the top one common deficiency is unqualified impurities. So altogether, unqualified impurities is the most common drug substance related major deficiencies. Um, so to conclude my presentation, um, we want to highlight that manufacturing, um, especially facility quality, 
and drug product and drug substance are the top quality discipline uh, identifying major deficiencies in the first assessment cycle of ANDAs. And um, this is same as um, Dr. Kozak recommended this morning. So FDA and GDFA3 initiatives have enhanced communication with applicants to uh, improve the um, efficiency of assessment cycle and minimize the common major uh, common deficiencies. So we highly recommend the applicants to utilize those uh, the communication venues and also um, to, to improve your um, submission quality and also help with the uh, generic drug drug um, generic drug development programs. So the um, key recommendations to minimize quality major deficiencies uh, for India um, applicants is to ensure facility quality and provide adequate supporting quality data to demonstrate um, drug substance sameness for complex drug substance containing drug product and also to support the um, control strategy for um, critical quality attributes, including impurities and nitribles. And finally, also please strengthen communication with the DMF holders. So I'd like to thank my uh, thank the um, subject matter experts from uh, the Office of um, Pharmaceutical Manufacturing Assessment, Office of Product Quality Assessment One Two Three, who helped with the data connection and provide the input on the data analysis. And also here, I provided the link to the FDA website for um, pharmaceutical quality resources, where you can find many, uh, I found a lot of useful information on different topics of pharmaceutical uh, quality. And if you have any um, general, for general increase that is not associated to a specific application, uh, you may submit your um, questions to this mailbox. Um, with that, um, thank you all, and um, I'll see you in a bit and hand it over to um, my colleague Andrew from the Office of uh, Pharmaceutical Manufacturing Assessment. Thank you.